Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Rabbit's Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to share with you how to model a wood construction framing in Rabbit. Okay, basically, most of my students when they want to create wood construction or wood framing, they will straight away using our existing tool like beam or column is a uh, some kind of wood and after that they will try to connect together by using our arrow tool or copy tool to make that but today i will give you another quick tip by using our existing tool some more is a parametric so if you arrange it properly okay anyway before i get things started i would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications so you won't miss my future tutorial okay now it's pretty much let's switch into our project together okay here we are in Revit's architecture template so what i'm going to do in order to make our wood framing or cold wood framing in Revit first thing i will using our existing tool by using our curtain wall so i'm going to our architecture tab here and go to wall or wa on my keyboard for shortcut key then i straight away pop up from the first point let's me for the first point then i'm going to tie it out for six meter hit escape a couple of time once i done that i will adjustment my height also so i will take a look on my property panel over there then for unconnected i will make it for 2.5 meter for our wood framing has applied then i can go to my 3d d4 over there okay as you can see here we got a simple generic basic wall so we need to change this one to our curtain wall panel first i just drop down finding for curtain wall panel and i want to hide our elevation also because i don't like that just straight away use our high tool then i will start from front there then what i'm going to do is to add our wood framing first thing i will add our grid line first after that only i will add our mullion and of course our mullion we can adjustment size that we want and we can change our material from aluminium to our wood texture also so now let's add our curtain grid first first thing i need to go to our architecture tab again then go to our curtain grid then i will straight away add segment here then i will add about 400 by 400 let's add here 400 another one 400 and a here 800 for our window add another 400 400 continue make it 800 again and make it for 400 again i think 400 and make our door is bigger a bit just make it for one meter hit escape a couple time once i done that i got my vertical framing already let's add another horizontal there just go to our curtain grid again then i will straight away add like this just straight away add like this i will make it for 700 like this then i'm going to add another one is about 1.2 meter like this hit escape as you can see here now our grid line it goes through to another panel so i need to adjustment there by delete all of them first just like one of our curtain grid there then add and remove segment here i will add remove here one two three four five six seven x nine ten hit enter as you can see here now we got one remaining thing we need to remove again okay as you can see here let me find a line first okay perfect then i'm going to remove here also because here for our window just continue remove here slowly remove one by one hit enter okay perfect now it's time to add our door there just go to our curtain grid then at the top of the door i will add one segment here make it about let's me think first so i'm going to make it for 1.2 meter 2.1 meter sorry here let's get a couple of time okay once i done that i can add our mullion there i just go to my mullion there and i like this 
side or the is 50 by 150 is perfect for my framing there but if you want to adjust one there you got to go to your edit tie there then you need to duplicate and change the size here for thickness and for the dimension with on side 2 on side 1 basically here is for internal and external our dimension so i will prefer using for 150 thickness and i will change our material also just change it to our woods i will try it out for cherry yes then again it's okay once i done that i will straight away go to all grid then add all like this hit a scatter a couple time let's turn on for consistent color as you can see here but in the case i want to add our window and our door also how could i saw that because basically our wood framing is inside our wall brick wall so let's adjustment our minor issue first as you can see here our wood construction probably not like it because here this one is going through so how could we saw that i will select here one by one you just like all of them for the top here let me slow it out first hold control key for multiple selection if you could not read that you just like your tab key to select to make that okay then you just take a look on your modify curtain wall mullion there then just select on break and join here as you can see here it's coming down it's probably now we continue our task here before we add our wall we just we need to show this minor issue first okay perfect <coughs> again I want to remove my glass also hit a tab key on my keyboard and take a look like on my panel there then SA for select all element then take a look on our property panel change from system panel LSC to our MT because I don't want to see my glass here hit us get a couple of time now my glass is gone it's time to add our door and window just go to my level one here then WA on my keyboard for shortcut key and using our basic wall 100 200 millimeter again start from the first point until second point hit escape a couple of time go to my 3d and i will make it more transparent just train the material first i will make it for gym sum i think let me tie it okay it's okay apply okay right click on my gozer go to my override by graphic and by element then i will make it more transparent because i want to see through my wood framing inside here is apply it's okay as you can see here it's better a lot then i will start from from view again and adjustment it make it down a bit go to our architecture tab door or dr then i need to adjustment to fix my here my door here because not fake yet so i'm going to edit type then i will make it for two meter for high two meter and make our wick here about 800 to fit our door there okay perfect as you can see here then i can add our window hit escape wn on my keyboard for window then i can adjustment here so i just make it for 150 and make it 150 or so and i make this last guy there for week is when 150 basically why my dimension is correctly because i got testing out and play around before i production the video that's why my door and window is perfectly so in your project you need to play around with that until you got what you want like me so as you can see here it's quite perfect for me yep then I'm going to add another one here. Hit us get a couple of time. Then I can turn around here. Start like this. Make it same level. 250. Okay, as you can see here. And if I want to see only my framing, I just like all of them like this. Then right click on my gozer high element. As you can see here it's quite perfectly for our wood framing if you want to add another framing you can consider to using your curtain 
wall panel to add here and here you need to change our mole inside there you just change all of them let me show you first if you want to change just change it like this because it's a corner so we need to make it more bigger so you just go to your property panel then you just change it to i think triple joy million as you can see here it's quite big but it's quite uh, it's area already because the connection not very well so you need to play around in order to make it and the first thing is the roughly thing that you can adjustment that you just adjustment there just like here then go to edit type then edit the property inside there and what sign or what kind and what size of wood framing that you want to just adjustment from here is a by way okay i think this tutorial is uh, just a quick tutorial one okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish if you like this tutorial make sure thumbs up and like and your like and your subscriber is motivate me to bring more professional content about revit thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice day thank you